Now, just in case you've been living under a rock the last few days, uh, I want to report some massive news to you, and that is Bastian Schweinsteiger is on his way to Manchester United. Get it! It's going to run Curtis Seven here. Happy as Larry that we have signed Bastian Schweinsteiger. I know he does come with a little bit of controversy according to Arsenal Liverpool fans about his age and whatnot, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I wrote uh, a list of things that I want to talk about with this transfer, and a lot of it is his honest list, so that takes up a lot of this page. But in all seriousness, Bastian Schweinsteiger is 30 years of age, and he's about to be 31. Um, he will be 31 the time he kicks a ball for Manchester United in the Premier League, so that is a little bit concerning, but like I said, we'll get to that in a second. He has had over 500 appearances for Bayern Munich. Clearly, he is a club legend for them. Now, let me talk about his honours that he has had with Bayern Munich and Germany, as, as of course he is Germany's current captain. He has won every competition there is to win in Germany for Bayern Munich. The lad has won eight repeating eight Bundesliga titles, 11 domestic cups, one Champions League title, one European Super Cup, one World Cup with Germany, and one Club World Cup. Clearly, the lad is a winner. So now, let's get to his criticisms, and it's obviously his age. And probably, that's the only sour point with this transfer. The only thing negative you could say about Bastian Schweinsteiger is that he is 31. He's 30 now. He will be 31. Um, so the main question is, is uh, Schweinsteiger past his best? And clearly, you know, you, you're going to have to say, yeah, he probably is past his best. But what I want to say to everyone is, yeah, all right, he is probably past his best, but... How much has he passed his best? Like, has he just gone on a roller coaster? You know, has he steeply declined? No, you've only got rocks in your head. And once you do go over that point where you, you're beyond your best years, you gain experience. And that is what we have bought with Schweinsteiger. Clearly, he's passed his best, but more experience has gained with him. And I think that's why Louis Van Gaal has bring him to United. So we can pass on this knowledge to the likes of Ander Herrera and, you know, Morgan Schneider. And if he does come to Manchester, Manchester United. So clearly, I would say yes, he is past his best, but when you're world class, such as Bastian Schweinsteiger, he has still clearly got a good, you know, three to four years left in the Premier League, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to Bastian Schweinsteiger's qualities, I'm pretty confident that everybody watching this video knows Schweinsteiger's qualities. So I don't really need to delve into what this guy is capable of doing because I'm pretty confident you all know. But I do want to read this one quote and it comes from Patrick Vieira one of the best midfielders to ever play in the Premier League now he wrote this in a column uh, about Schweinsteiger he said he can do anything he tackles he defends he's a powerful unit going forward he has a great shot and he is quality on the ball so Yes, he does come with age, but yes, he does come with experience, and the lad is quality. And another point I want to raise as well, uh, being level-headed, being not having my bias cap on, being sensible here, I want to talk some real truth, is that I do honestly believe that this is a quality signing for United, because you just got to look in the past few years. In one hit, we lost Ferdinand, Vidic, and Evra. There were three captains at Manchester United, you know, Rio Ferdinand, captain of England as well. You know, th these were born leaders at the club that went gone out the door in one hit and we replaced them at the back with the likes of Daily Blind, Rojo, Luke Shaw. You know, we did have Falcao and uh, Di Maria come into the team as well. But none of these guys that we bought were born leaders, had some real leadership in the team. Schweinsteiger brings that to this club. He brings the winning mentality that he's had with Germany, he's had with Bayern Munich. And that's something we've clearly missed the last few seasons, especially with Fergie going as well. So. Uh, saying all that, I think Schweinsteiger, even if he doesn't have the impact on field that I would like him to, I still think the qualities that he brings off the field and his knowledge and his experience that he can pass on to these younger midfielders like Ander Herrera and even Juan Mata, you know, and, and even if we do sign uh, sign Morgan Schneiderlin, you know, the knowledge he's going to have with these guys, it's going to be awesome for United, in my opinion, you know, and that's not saying that he can't work with anyone, because can you imagine a midfield 
filled with, you know, Schneiderlin and Schweinsteiger. That's going to be a nightmare for commentators, number one. But even if it was Carrick and Schweinsteiger, and even if it was we played defensive and we went, you know, Fellaini, Schweinsteiger and uh, Carrick in the midfield, you know, I'd be comfortable with that. Even if we went all out attacking, it was Schweinsteiger, you know, Mata and Herrera. Just having the name Schweinsteiger in that midfield, he's like the glue that we've been missing for ages. I kind of feel like we've actually replaced Roy Keane, even though it was like 10 years too late. I kind of feel that way. We just need a replacement for Carrick now. But uh, honestly, not being biased here, I think uh, Schweinsteiger is an awesome, awesome buy for Man United. But anyways, lads, I want to know your opinions about Bastian Schweinsteiger coming to United. Is it a good signing? Is it a bad signing? Get your comments down below. I'll be sure to read them. And make sure you give a reasoning why it's good or bad. I just don't want to see yes or no. I want to read your reason. And, you know, I'll get, definitely reply to a lot of comments. But anyways, lads, that's it for this episode. Hopefully, you stay subscribed for more uh, transfer videos coming soon. Hopefully, you know, Schneider on the way and it looks like it's sad to say but the Haya could be leaving now that uh, Ike Casillas has gone to Porto so maybe Ramos is coming maybe Otamendi maybe Hugo Lloris maybe another goalkeeper I'm not too sure this uh, transfer window has been crazy so far not just with United but with all teams it's just a lot is going on this minute but anyways lads I've been your boy Curtis Seven. stay tuned for more content anyways take care and peace Oh, by the way, FIFA will be back tomorrow. Peace.